these sub gangs come from? You got the executioners in Compton. You got the banditos over here. We used to have the Stony Boys back in the day, the Jump Out Boys. I mean, you got, you got all these different subgroups inside the sheriff department that have different agendas. What is that about, man? Stony, Stony Boys was the Firestone. Firestone Sheriff's Station was was uh, off of Florence and Firestone uh, in the Firestone area. When I grew up in the in the seventies, they patrolled my home area. Okay. And they was known for being some son of a bitches, man. Mm. They were known for being some son of a bitches. I mean, for them to put, put your head or your face on the hood of the car, that hot ass car, they never turn off in the summertime. Your mm. fucking fingertips, your face would, would roast like a goddamn turkey. Okay? Kick your leg, kick your ankles out with them steel toe boots, have you spread out like a damn wishbone, man. Leave it on the car, hands on the car, okay? All because you black. Okay, and, 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 and it was horrible, man. You know, I do. They used to take my car apart. I had a 64 Malibu. They would take everything out of my trunk, take my seats out of my car, looking for nothing just because they could. Meanwhile, I'm on the hood of the car, fingertip roasting. Okay, take me 20 minutes to put my car. Man, they would open up the hood and, and take the, uh, the air, the, the cut, the air cover off, man. Why? Why is that necessary? Why is that necessary? It's the same thing. My cousin, he his house just got uh, they served a warrant in my cousin's house. His house got that happened two weeks ago. His house is still tore up right to this day, man. They just tear up shit for no reason, man. So how do you respect these kind of people, man? Yeah. They don't respect you. How do you respect somebody that don't respect you? How is this supposed to work? How is this supposed to work? How people can do things and all they do is find different ways to cover up for them. How are you supposed to respect people that don't respect you? Hmm. Your job is to protect and serve. You basically harass and fuck with people, especially if you're a male. Hmm. Let me ask you. Um, I when I when I recite a poll or some statistics, I always fact check. Always, you know, try to make sure it's 100% legit. We all know most statistics and shit like that are BS. You know, depends on who you 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 talk to, but a legit recent poll recently showed that 80% of African Americans want the same amount or more police in their neighborhood. Where, where do you stand on the whole, you know, defund the police thing and, and should we have less, should we have more? I say defund niggas first. <laughs> I defund niggas first, man. <laughs> This motherfucker. <laughs> you gotta be fun, niggas, man. Look, 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 dude, look, dude. I've been a black man all my life. And being a black man, every, we all have nigga tendencies, okay? And it takes a lot for my nigga tendencies to surface, okay? When your nigga tendencies are your only persona, it makes it hard to work in. To, to coexist, okay? I know I'm gonna say some shit right now. It's gonna get me probably a bunch of negative uh, comments, but bring them all because I'm keeping it fucking 100, okay? You can't defund the police. That, let me stop. Mm -hmm. I work with, I work, one, of, one, of my, one of my businesses is I, I teach podcasting to uh, 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 guys who just got out of jail. Re for, re uh, with a reentry program, okay? I've talked to a lot of these guys, man. A lot of these guys have understand they got it, okay? It's real hard to, uh, when I, when I, and I also work with, um, uh, damn, I'm, I'm, I haven't eaten yet. Uh, I work with um, gang intervention guys, right? Okay. I was talking to one of my gang intervention guys what he was, uh, not long ago, a couple of weeks ago. And I said, but how's things out in the streets? He said, oh man, he said, fools think, these fools think defunding the police, I mean, they can do, do more stupidity than ever. I said, man, do they realize the more stupidity they do, the more they're gonna justify not defunding the police? Mm -hmm. See, I, first of all, I think the word defunding gives them a, uh, excuse me, give them uh, a, a, a misnomer of what they're talking about. It means they should say redirect some funds, okay? Not defund, okay? Take some of the funds from the police and redirect the funds to other situations that are not 
lethally involved. This is like this lady, uh, I think it was in Utah, I did a, did a story on her. Um, 13 year old son was having an episode and she called the police to help her. It was a 13 year old kid, about 5'9, five, 5'10, five, yeah. 165, big kid for, for 13. But he but he's cerebral palsy. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. um, Asper- um, was it Asperger's? Something like that. He had autistic. The, autistic the same, yeah. Okay. And the mom steps outside. She says, 10 seconds after she steps outside, she hears a bunch of commands. Sit down, sit down. Bow, 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 bow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why do you shoot a kid? Why do you do that? And, and, and if you're that afraid in your job, you need another job. Okay. Mm-hmm. Lonzo ain't going to do uh, no wash no windows and skyscrapers. I'm afraid of heights. I'm not going to take that job. Okay. So if you see Lonzo, on, on, if you see, ever see her about Lonzo was on a, on a, on a, on a scaffold outside the building, wiping down some windows yeah. on the 35th floor, you the damn lie. That wasn't Lonzo. Lonzo don't do that. So same thing here, man. If you have a job that you walk out and you're constantly in fear of your life, okay. You might not want to take that job, man. If you can't handle a 13-year-old kid, when you see cops uh, handcuffing five-year-old kids, you keep cops shooting or uh, wrestling with 13-year-old girls, 14-year-old girls, dude, you're in the wrong job. You, you got the wrong job. Or maybe you do have the mm-hmm. right job where you can do that and do that with immunity, okay, impunity. You know, it's, 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 come on, man. Yes, I would tell my son or my nephew, if you want to be a cop, be a cop. Okay, yeah, because we need more black cops. That's one of the problems. We need more black cops. We need black cops in the black community. We need people in the community to understand that everybody wearing a white t-shirt and a gangbanger. Okay? It's just a, that's a style that we have here in the community. And that's what we do, okay? Some at some point in time, most guys get wet, um get out of uh, grow out of wearing white t-shirts all the time, but for the most part a lot of youngsters do, okay? Yeah. And you need to know the difference between a gangbanger and somebody just hanging out. So, you yeah. know, and, and it goes for Latino and for black. Mm-hmm. I would tell my son to, to, to be a cop. Like I said, I have, I have two, uh, I have, well, I just had three uh, family members that were uh, in, the, in the sheriff's department, in fact. And, you know, they, they, they might like my job, but I can't stand some of these guys that work with, you know? Yeah, I'm sure, yeah.